The Earth's magnetic field acts as a shield, protecting our planet from much of the sun's dangerous radiation. But in 1906, a French geologist named Bernard Bruns made a startling discovery about the field. Bruns was examining newly formed volcanic rocks near a lava flow in central France. Lava from a volcano contains minerals from deep inside the Earth. Inside the molten lava, iron particles are free to move. But as the flow begins to cool and form into rocks, the iron particles align themselves according to the Earth's magnetic field, like a compass. They become a fossilized snapshot of the Earth's magnetic field in action. But during his research, Bruns found some of the rocks contained iron particles that were magnetized in the opposite direction. Their compass needle had flipped, pointing south instead of north. This was the moment of discovery. Bruns realized that at some point in the past, the Earth's magnetic field had changed direction and reversed itself. It was a significant discovery. It meant that Earth was a far more dynamic planet than many had imagined, constantly changing. We can see that the Earth's magnetic field has reversed about 60 times in the last 20 million years. That's once every couple hundred thousand years or so. And we may be going through a reversal right now because the Earth's magnetic field has decreased in strength about 10% in only the last century and a half. Now, no one's exactly sure why this happens, but Brun's discovery does raise a provocative question. What happens when the Earth's magnetic field goes to zero? The answer may lie on Mars. Scientists have detected that the red planet once may have had a magnetic field, powered by a furnace-like core, just like the one on Earth. But at some point in its past, the heat source of the Mars core was extinguished. Without its internal furnace, the planet died. Its magnetic field disappeared, and harmful cosmic and solar rays bombarded the planet, wiping out any chance for life as we know it. Could that happen here? Well, the composition and size of the Earth's core is such that the Earth will probably stay hot inside for billions of years. 